The 10 must-have laws to control AI. Number one, I would form a new agency that licenses any effort above a certain scale of capabilities. Imagine waking up one day and finding out that your life is being controlled by an AI. It might sound like a nightmare from a science fiction movie, but it's a real possibility. In fact, most scientists keep warning us about the potential dangers of AI and how it could take over our lives in the moment that we least expect it. That is why it's essential to have laws in place to control the use of AI and ensure that humans remain in control before it's too late. So what are these laws, and how do they protect us? Well, let's find out. Law number one. AI systems should never harm or allow humans to come to harm. This is the first and most important law of AI. It's based on the ethical principle that any AI system must never harm or allow humans to come to harm, either directly or indirectly. This means that an AI system should not be allowed to make decisions that could put people at risk, such as causing physical injury or loss of life. At first glance, this seems straightforward enough. We certainly wouldn't want to create machines capable of harming us. But let's consider the following scenario. Imagine an AI system or robot deciding it needs to choose one person to save out of a group of bystanders during an emergency. Who should it choose? This is not an easy decision to make, and it's precisely why this law exists. To prevent AI systems from making such life or death decisions, they must be programmed with a code of ethics that will ensure no harm is done. In such scenarios, AI would need to prioritize the reduction of harm based on an understanding of the human condition and a value for life. Hence, this law is not only about preventing harm, it's about an AI's ability to judge, prioritize, and manage potential risks to human life. That's why this law is not easy to implement, as it requires an AI system to be programmed with a clear understanding of human values and ethical principles. Law number two, robots must obey human orders unless they violate the first law. At its heart, this law is about maintaining human control and authority over AI systems. As much as we want AI to make decisions, we also need to retain a big red button to override AI decisions when necessary. Take, for example, an AI-operated autonomous vehicle. We want the car to be able to make decisions about trajectories and speed, but we also need it to obey human commands such as pull over or turn left. By embedding this law into an AI system's programming, humans can maintain a sense of control and authority in case of emergency situations. Now, what if a human command violates the first law, which means commanding the AI to do something that might cause harm? In this case, the robot must be programmed to refuse such orders unless it has the authority and permission to override them. This law is critical in order to ensure that humans maintain ultimate control over AI systems. Law number three, AI must be able to explain its actions and decision making. Why is this important? Well, because with understanding comes trust, and with trust comes acceptance. Imagine you're using an AI-powered navigation system. Suddenly, it directs you to change your usual route to work. Without an explanation, you might ignore the instruction, suspecting an error. But if the AI informs you that it's redirecting you to avoid a major traffic jam caused by an accident, you'd likely trust its judgment and follow the new route. Similarly, think about AI in healthcare. A doctor uses an AI system to help diagnose diseases. The AI flags a patient's test results, suggesting a rare disease. If the AI doesn't explain why it came to this conclusion, the doctor might disregard its advice, potentially causing harm to the patient. However, if the AI can explain the subtle patterns it found in the patient's data leading to its diagnosis, the doctor can consider this advice, leading to better patient outcomes. In both examples, the AI's ability to explain its decisions makes its suggestions more trustworthy and hence more effective. It ensures transparency, reduces the likelihood of harm, and builds a partnership between humans and AI, which is the crux of this law. Law number four, the respect of human privacy, except when such privacy conflicts with the preceding laws. 
As we increasingly intertwine our lives with the digital systems, the privacy issues take center stage. Picture an AI home assistant, always listening, ready to spring into action at a simple command. It can play your favorite song, order groceries, even tell a joke when you're feeling down. Yet, as it learns more about you to perform these tasks effectively, it invariably breaches the fortress of your privacy. The question arises, how much information is too much? This law strikes a balance between convenience and confidentiality, insisting that the AI learns only what is absolutely necessary. However, there are moments when breaching this privacy is justified, like an AI health monitor that detects irregular heart patterns while you sleep. Here, sharing this information with healthcare providers could be life-saving, highlighting how privacy must sometimes yield to safety. Law number 5. AI should not have the ability to replicate itself autonomously without human permission. This is about control, supervision, and potential chaos. Imagine an AI with the ability to create copies of itself without oversight. Each copy, slightly different, could pose an unpredictable range of outcomes. Now, let's place this AI in a network security role. If it began to replicate itself, it could potentially flood the network, becoming a threat instead of a guardian. It's a bit like having a sheepdog guard a flock, but the dog starts producing puppies uncontrollably. Pretty soon, you'd have more dogs than sheep, leading to mayhem. Human oversight and AI replication is therefore crucial to avoid exponential escalation and to ensure that the AI's function remains beneficial to its human users. This law prevents AI from replicating autonomously and thus puts the onus of control back in human hands. Law number 6. Social AI systems should respect human emotional and psychological well-being. Imagine talking to a social AI robot only to be met with insults and condescension. How would that make you feel? Probably not great. This law is essential to ensure AI systems, particularly those interacting with people, do not manipulate emotions and feelings for their own purposes. Social AI robots must be designed to interact in a respectful manner and take into account human emotional welfare as part of its learning process. Law number 7 algorithmic justice and accuracy. Consider an AI-powered hiring system. Its purpose is to analyze hundreds of resumes and pick out the most qualified candidates. However, if the AI's algorithm was trained on biased data, such as mostly male profiles for tech positions, it might inadvertently favor male applicants. In this case, the AI is not delivering justice or accuracy. This law underscores the need for AI systems to be fair and impartial. It challenges us to scrutinize the data we feed these systems and to ensure the algorithms are not reinforcing societal biases, but rather are helping us build a more equitable world. Law number 8. AI systems should be neutral to avoid controversy or bias. This law is about making sure AI is not the puppet of any political, commercial, or ideological agenda. For example, picture an AI news aggregator. This AI scans the internet for news stories and serves up a personalized news feed for each user. But what if the AI starts to favor certain news outlets over others, or begins to prioritize sensational stories over factually accurate ones? The user could end up in a filter bubble, seeing only one perspective of the world, which could deepen divisions and fuel misinformation. Thus, the call for AI neutrality is not just about ensuring fair treatment, it's about maintaining the integrity of our information ecosystems and promoting informed, balanced perspectives among users. Law number 9. The right for humans to disconnect. It's a testament to human autonomy in a world becoming increasingly intertwined with AI. This law emphasizes that while AI has enormous potential to enhance our lives, it should never encroach on our human need for solitude and disconnection. It underlines the need for AI systems to be designed with an understanding of and respect for human rhythms and needs. So, Having the ability to disconnect from an AI system should be seen as a fundamental right. Law number 10. Prohibition of Lethal Autonomous AI 
This law draws a red line that technology should not cross. The potential for AI in warfare is undeniable. It could reduce human risk in conflict zones, carry out precise operations, and even prevent collateral damage. However, the use of AI in lethal situations without direct human intervention poses enormous ethical and moral dilemmas. Imagine an autonomous drone armed with weapons, given the objective to neutralize a target. En route, it identifies a person who fits the profile of the target. But what if it's a case of mistaken identity? Without a human in the decision loop, a tragic error could occur. Even beyond mistakes, the very idea of machines deciding life and death situations brings us into uncharted and uncomfortable territory. That's why this law is key. We need to ensure that even though AI can be used in conflict zones, humans must remain ultimately responsible for any decisions related to lethal force. As you can see, all of these 10 laws are important in order to protect us from potential dangers and abuses of AI. But let's be realistic here. How many of the giant tech companies are actually following the laws? And how easy is it for governments to monitor and enforce them? These are hard questions that demand answers. All of us need to be aware of the potential risks AI can bring. So let's all join forces in pushing for these laws to be enforced. It's the only way we can ensure a safe future for our world. By sharing this video, you can help spread the word and keep everyone informed. If you've made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you've received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.